In this video, we're going to talk about <clears throat> Body Daddies Episode 4. <laughs> yeah, there's something to cheer about. Kasi, eh. Hey, nako. Keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. I really want to uh, get down to the to the, to the nitty gritty of things, guys. But, <clears throat> to, to, um, to set you in that mood, I'm going to tell you this. This is so far the most heartfelt episode of this anime. Right? So first order business, the thumbnail. There are a lot of scenes here na talagang pinakita ni, ni Kasuki yung kanyang pagiging uh, tatay-tatayan kay Miri. But, there are actually two scenes that really make him stand out as one. Okay? The one you're seeing right now is one of them. So, come on guys. Wouldn't your heart melt for Kasuki for um <clears throat> for taking serious care of Miri this way? Kasi, oh, if you've seen the previous episode, well, right there, Kasuki just decided not to surrender the child to his mother. So, episode 4 is now showing how much effort he is uh, he's putting in, of course, along with Ray, para alagaan ng batang to. Eh, may pagkapasaway pa naman si <laughs> So, with that in mind, let's get to the nitty-gritty of this episode, guys. Face! Typical slice of life, PC. Pero, it is not the type that you would be, um, that you would be forced to uh, to skip to, an, to either another episode or another anime uh, at worst. <laughs> Ito yung slice of life pacing na uh, uh, that will help you endear yourself to the characters, especially si Kazuki. Right? How much effort he is putting in as a um, as a uh, hindi naman step on, hindi naman legally adopted si Niri. As a um, yeah, sabi natin foster father. You can say na out of his own guilty conscience, pwede rin. Only the pacing will make you feel this way for Kasuki. Okay? Can you will feel, uh, can you will feel proud of the guy despite being a hired killer. Right? He's, he's doing his best to take care of the child. Okay? Sino, sino ba ang katawang niya? Si Ray lang. Eh, tatamad-tamad ko mo nang pangatumuhog na to. <laughs> tatamad-tamad pa naman to. No complaints, guys. Alright? No complaints about the pacing of this episode. Swap na swap. Talagang, I had those slice of life feels while I was watching the whole episode. And, medyo nawala sa isipan mo that this is also an action anime. I, this is also a crime anime. Kasi nga, yung, yung line of work ng dalawang bida rito, si Ray at si Kasuki. Flora! First gear shift was of course the, um, the scene where Kasuki and Ray saw that uh, that daycare bus. No brainer relationship there, folks. Maybe because this was the scene that triggered the entire episode. This gear shift will also make you think that. Bakit na yun yung inisip yan? <laughs> Bakit hindi nyo pa inisip yan, mga moho? Second gear shift was when uh, join. A joint Mary's uh, class, nakita ni Kasuki na hindi siya pinapansin ng kanyang mga kaklase. She, Mary is all by her lonesome. They're reading, reading some book or something. Basta naka, 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 naka po nun siya ganun. Nakatungo. So, wow. Again, ano po yun ang review she post? Kasi, dito, dito lang may nakita ni, ni Kasuki kung ano talaga ang tunay na status ni Mary inside that day air. Dito eh. Right here. Alright? Makakantikat ng dami mo. Basic function of gear shifts, guys. Right here in the scene. Final gear shift. Yup. Tapos sila. Was when Kasuki showed his soccer skills uh, to all to all the kids in the day air. Again, another no-brainer of a gear shift, folks. Kasi, we've seen another side of Kasuki here. Mukhang Pinalala. Uy, pang blue lock yung ano niya. Pang blue lock yung soccer skills niya. Ball handling and all. This is the type of soccer ball handling you would only see in blue lock. <laughs> and you would also think na, 
Wow, Carlson, you got more handling skills. Why didn't you become a professional soccer player instead of a hitman? <laughs> Another heartfelt gearship post. Kaya, kaya ka gearship eh. They elicit the strongest emotions in the episode. So these three gearships that I saw, guys. Um, what if you're into watching just the, the most heartfelt scenes of an episode? Go ahead, watch those three gearships. Pero, if you're an otaku like me, why why watch only those three? May panahon niya ng episode. Para, maintindihan niyo kung ano yung series of events that led to that scene wherein Kazuki showed the soccer skills. Blood lies! Ay. Tuloy <clears throat> tuloy ang story eh. Therefore, Malinis ang blood, guys! Huwag ko na Alam naman, maglagay pa kayo ng ah, uh, ng explainer sequence dito. This is the kind of episode where even explainer sequences would dis- would would arguably destroy it. Slice of life na eh. We're getting those we got those slice of life feels because of its clean plot. Dire diretso ang storya. Yung progression ng mga characters, uh, the character development of course, and wow, everything turned out okay. Even up to that post credit scene. So, totally clean plot, guys. It's the type of clean plot you will, that you will never have a sleeper moment with. Hindi ako, hindi ako yung nantok, okay? Not a single second, hindi ako yung nantok sa episode na to. Yung antok yung panaman ako ngayong tanghali. Na wala ang antok ko actually sa episode na to. Again guys, totally clean plot. So, based on plot, they also came together for this episode, folks. Um, at this point, we can now say na, Anya of Spy X Family has serious competition in Miri. Yup! <laughs> and of course, um, Buddy Daddies, uh, after four episodes in, I can now say that, yeah, it's a really good anime. Okay? It's a really good anime. So, Buddy Daddies, episode four, no brainer! Ang ganda ng ano eh, ng, uh, ng transition from episode 3, shall we, to episode 4. After seeing in episode 3 that how much of a, uh, what you call this, how much of a trash bin Miri's actual mom is, you would certainly feel for Kazuki here in episode 4. Talagang todo, effort na siya sa pag-aalaka ka sa matang to. You can say it's out of a guilty conscience kasi, well, uh, if you haven't seen the pilot, guys, si Kazuki at si Rey ang tumumba sa tatay ni Miri. And Miri has no idea, she has no idea yet <laughs> na itong dalawang nag-aalala sa kanya ang mismo pumatay sa tatay niya. Right? Pero, well, you can actually feel for, for Kazuki here, eh. Right? You would actually cheer for the guy kasi talagang uh, he's totally embraced the role of foster father to this child. After seeing, again, like I said a while ago, how much of a trash bin of a woman Miri's mom is. Sino ba namang hindi? Diba? Sino ba namang hindi? Sino ba namang lalaki ang, ang hindi matutunaw sa puso matutunaw ang puso sa bakang to? After what he what I just found out about it, about uh, about the child's mother. So, let's just wait for the next episode. And while you're at it, guys, watch the next reviews on this page. Alright? I'll be counting on you.